that more often. Welcome back, my name is Peter and today I would like to do a Q&A video, questions and answers. And I asked around on Facebook and Twitter if someone has a question and no one answered. Maybe because it was Saturday, maybe because no one has questions, but usually I get questions when I talk with people offline, directly, in person. And I thought I answered four of those questions that I usually get. Welcome back, my name is Peter and I'm interested in good habits and systems, how to live a more meaningful life, answering big questions and how to make change happen. I worked for more than 13 years as a pastor in different settings and now I'm doing YouTube full time. So let's dive in into four questions I usually get asked. Number one, why YouTube, Peter? I mean, what's wrong with you? That's not such a prestigious job you used to do and you should do. With your experience and knowledge, YouTube, what's that? YouTube, that's not a real job. That's what I usually get as a question. Besides, can you do that? I mean, how, how can you do YouTube? What? And it sounds like, well, I can't do anything else, can I? But, but, I'm very excited about doing this. After working more than 13 years in a setting as a pastor, I finally get to do something else. And I had to do it by taking a big risk and planning for it. Because six years ago I moved to Australia and I practically lost through that all the opportunities to take another year in a different setting, leave. Long service leave is not something I can take and I can have to do it by myself. And I have a very nice wife which says, okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay for you to take this creative break and try something else, even though it means for our family to really cut back on everything else we can do, but do it. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me doing that. That's the why YouTube, because I want to do something in this setting. I planned and I read and I did so many different things and I always had the intention to start like so many people and in the end I didn't, but I do it now. Which leads me to question number two. How? How do I do YouTube? And let me tell you, YouTube is much harder than I thought. There is video editing skills and script writing and social media and advertisement and creative speaking and public speaking and building a business around it. You know what? That's why the experience with the PTYA, the part-time YouTube Academy course, which I just finished, was so valuable because it really helped me to gain a great insight into all those different aspects. And my previous work experience also helped because working in a church as a pastor, you have so many different things you are doing. All those things I mentioned in regards to YouTube, I did previously in my previous job. And now the only difference is I don't get paid for what I'm doing, but maybe, maybe we solve that in some way. That's the how. A lot of work, that's how. Now, number three, what am I doing here? What's your channel about? And yeah, everyone asked that. Everyone should find an answer for it. Um, my mission statement is something I care about and something I struggle with myself, which is the question how to live a better, more meaningful life through good habits and systems. I think that's the way. Decreasing suffering. And if I unpack this, there are three main points. Number one is good habits and systems. I discovered how important these are. I discovered how many bad habits I have. And if I want to achieve anything, I need to rely on habits and systems rather than my willpower. Number two is to talk about the big questions of life. Something I did previously and something I still passionate about because, because it's difficult to find answer for all these questions. Of course, I could be ignorant and just make it easy for myself, but I don't. Number three 
is decreasing suffering and we only can do that through taking action, making change happen. And the most urgent aspect of this is to get a hand, a grip on how we use technology and social media and how we minimize the climate crisis that will happen in the next 20 to 30 years in my lifetime. So how do we do that? That's basically the what I'm doing. Hope this answers it. And number four, what's that? What's next? And that's hard because I don't know exactly what's next. Peter, you are 38. How do you don't know what's next? Yeah, I, I know, I know. I know what's next. I know I have to care for my sons, for my family bring them to school every day for the next seven years, eight years, maybe more. That's something I have to do. I need to take care for my, of my parents. I need to make friends. Hmm. In many ways, as hard as it is, I don't know what's next. I know what's next in the next two or three months. I know I want to connect and will connect with more YouTubers here locally in Melbourne. I want to connect with professionals who work in this area. I want to explore the city I'm living in more. I want to make change happen by adjusting my lifestyle and starting projects that really engage with others. I want to visit my family, which I haven't seen in five years. I will do that in June, by the way, announcement. And I hope to reconnect with as many people as possible. So let me know if you are around in June. I'm happy to catch up with you. What else? I want to write a book or two. I'm doing it right now. There are just a few pages, but I'm working on it. And um, do I need to get another job? Maybe yes. Something needs to pay for the lights. That's what I want for now. And why see what happens then? Thank you. Hope this video was interesting enough for you to watch it through. Let me know in the comment below if you have other questions and see you in the next video. See you probably tomorrow. Bye.